In this video, we dive deep into the integration between Listly and WordPress and the value uh, to you as a blogger of using Listly deeply integrated inside your blog. So the first off, let's look at the process. And the first thing is to apply for a publisher key via Listly. Uh, you then install your uh, plugin and apply the key. Um, so let's see how that works. So from a Listly uh, publisher landing page, you can apply for a publisher key and you'll get that key instantly uh, on the Listly page and you can then come paste that, which we'll later paste into WordPress. So to find the plugin, we can go to wordpress.org uh, and plugins, search for Listly. Um, you'll find it there. You can see uh, the reviews we've had, the number of downloads that people and how many people are using this. Um, and then you can install it from there, uh, obviously. But it's, I think it's easier generally to install it from within WordPress. So just add new plugins from within WordPress. Uh, again, just search for Listly. And you're gonna find the plugin. And then I've, I've actually already installed it. Otherwise you just click install. Next click settings from the plugins tab for Listly and apply your publisher key and you're ready to go. So lists and blog posts are really easy to combine. A, a blog post is typically a title with some copy, um, which is usually got an intro, the body the block of the of your blog post, and then some kind of summary. And when you're using a listly, often it's a blog post title, an introduction to explain your list, and you embed your list as the as the body copy of the post. And then at the end of the list, you put in some calls. Uh, at the end of the post, you put in some calls to action. So let's have a look at that process end to end. So here's my list on Listly, a list of all the email newsletters we turn and I can click on embed from within the list and we get to the embed preview screen and in the embed you can choose which different format and how you want to lay out your list on your blog. So I could choose magazine layout or minimal or gallery. In this instance I'm going to pick gallery and so I just get the code and then if I'm on WordPress, I just grab the WordPress short code and jump over to my blog post that I already set up and paste in my short code and update or publish my post. And you'll see I've got the title, some copy and then the list. Now let's look at that blog post on this link. There we go. And there's the, the title the list laid out in gallery layout exactly as you'd expect. Customizing your list is a big part of the embedding process. You may not realize, but Listly lists are fully responsive, both on Listly and inside a blog. And what that means is the list adapts and adjusts to take account of how much space is given to a list. So you could embed a list in the sidebar of your blog or inside a post and it would adjust to look great in both situations. But there's not just one layout. The, the list can, can take on many different formats. And you can choose that and customize exactly how your list is configured and how it looks. So let's drill into that process right now. So on Listly's preview page for each list, I can customize the layout, the way the list is going to be formatted on my blog. And there's basically five different options there between lists, gallery, magazine, minimal, and badge. And beyond that, I can choose which components. So I can remove the header, I can remove the tools, um, and I can also remove author attribution. And I can choose how many items are displayed. But you'll see that this content is fully responsive. So as I give Listly more or less width, it adjusts dynamically to that content, which is really powerful in the age of responsive web design. I can choose just to show less items on that page if I want. So I can choose the, the way that or control the way pagination works. And you can see between minimal layout, I've chosen three items per page. I can take up very little space on your blog. And I think that's one of the real values of the premium options on Listy is totally about control. And then I just simply grab my code, cut and paste that. If I need the JavaScript code, I can grab that. If I want the WordPress code, I can grab that. And then I paste that into my blog. Lists are second nature for bloggers. Often list posts get more views and more shares than any other form of content. Um, 
many times we see that kind of analysis that shows list posts work. We know, we know this for a fact. And so many bloggers have got existing lists on their blog. And one of the things we've done is created a, a, a Chrome extension that allows you to quickly re-import those lists as listly lists. So the list could start off as just text on your blog, and within a few clicks, uh, you can transform that list into a fully dynamic, crowdsourceable, votable, rankable list on Listly. So let's have a look at that process. And the first step is to go to the Chrome store and type in Listly. And then you can choose to just click in plus, you'll add Listly, and you'll see the L appear on the menu bar inside Chrome. And then you're ready to start creating. So here's a simple 10 tips, top tips list from the Huffington Post. Imagine this was your list. You just simply highlight the content, right click the first item, and add to list. Highlight the second item, right click, and add to list, list. And repeat that process for all of the items on the list. It hasn't added it to Listly at this point, it's just added it to the extension. And then we can basically go up and check that copy is pulled in correctly, see if it's, it's interpreted the HTML correctly, make any corrections we want. And we can, of course, choose which list we add it to on Listly, or create a brand new list. And then, once we've picked the list, just as I'm doing here, I can click Save, and those items will be saved to that list. And then I can embed it other people can embed it, they can stand on it and vote on it. And that's really the value that Listly brings, is taking your list beyond just being rigid and, and static in your blog post. Whilst we know lists work, it's a great way to, for a writer to write and for um, your audience to consume your content. There's one big deficiency with lists as we see them today, and that's that they don't change. We call it list rot. Your lists begin to age from the moment you publish them, and that's a big part of the problem that Listly solves. We allow people to make suggestions to your list, to extend your list by saying, oh, you're missing this, or we should add that. And people can also vote on the list to say this is better than that. So the, 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 the next person that comes along to your blog and discovers this list will see the most popular items at the top, and they'll see additions and recent corrections to the list being added as well. So it's a better experience for you, it keeps your blog alive for longer, it keeps your content more valuable to new readers as they come along. And really every list is a community waiting to happen. So let's have a look at that process and see how you contribute to the list as the non-list owner. So here's an example where Orbit Media created a best um, Chicago marketing speakers list. And you can see just how many people actually helped with this list in total. So 200 plus people helped. And we can click on there on Mark Carter and see just how many people voted for Mark. There's full transparency, so you can see who's voted for who. And that's really one big benefit of Listly. The other thing we can do is add to a list. So we can actually suggest an omission if someone's not on the list that they think should be. And they click and save that away. That's really part of the value of Listly. Sharing is a big part of social media today, blogging and content marketing. And um, Listly really takes that to a new level because we're used to sharing when we share links, right? And, and links are very short term, but embedding in the blog is, is really a long term, a long term share. It lasts much longer. Uh, people can rediscover that post um, for years to come. Whereas a, a tweet or, or an item that's shared on its own really doesn't last that long. Listly supports both of these, both by embedding lists and being able to share items on a list. But it goes one step further than that. We actually let you share items and lists inside blog posts because really it's about driving traffic to your blog. So let's have a look at how we share an item and a list inside a blog post and how we drive traffic to your blog. One of the biggest benefits of Listly is that every list is fully indexed optimized from an SEO perspective. Every, uh, the list title is an H1 tag, every item on the list is an H2 tag. And sure, you can do that as a human being, but it's very unlikely you will because really there's too many other things going on and too, we're too easily distracted. So Listly optimizes your blog post for sharing and for SEO and letting people share in the short term with the link and in the long term with an embed in your blog post. So let's have a look. So sticking with the marketing speakers list, we can see from the metrics that this list was actually embedded on two different blog posts beyond Listly. So let's have a look. Here's the Orbit Media blog post where they shared this with their audience and asked them to vote and contribute. And 
here's the list inside that post. There is a share button there, we can click on that, it pops that up and gives us a listly URL, but it's actually a redirect, and it redirects to exactly this list inside the Orbit Media blog post. So you're basically sharing with context, driving people to exactly the thing you want, but driving traffic to the Orbit Media blog. It's not about driving traffic to Listly. So let's just take that example here with Mark Carter. And again, another unique Listly URL. If I grab that link, paste that into my browser, it's going to direct me to Mark Carter's item on the list inside the Orbit Media blog post. Focusing people, you know, share, vote for me, here I am, but sharing and driving traffic to the meet, to the blog post inside Orbit Media. And that's a real part of the focus and sharing value of Listly. Performance of your lists on Listly and also on your blog are secured by two levels of caching, both on Listly and in your WordPress, um, with via your WordPress plugin. Um, we paginate the list and searching search requests on the list are sent back to the Listly server. It's all a very scalable process, very manageable. So to summarize, really Listly is all about living content. Um, you know, essentially, without Listly, one would use just regular HTML inside a blog post, and that content never changes. Um, it also doesn't invite people to, to participate in any real sense. People can leave comments, but they can't actually adjust or uh, contribute to the real content. And that's the, the big metaphor shift that Listly brings to the party. And what that means is you create you know, much deeper engagement um, with your audience, you build community, you invite them to be first class contributors to your blog. You're inviting them to join you on stage and not in the cheap seats um, in the comments section. You're inviting them to, to be a first class contributor and I think that is a significant difference. Um, also, Listly is all about getting found. Right? Um, very strong SEO story because of the way every list is fully indexed and fully optimized automatically produced by Listly, um, which helps you get found. Keywording correctly and tagging up your list correctly makes a big difference. And it helps um, contributors find you. So people will find you based on the content that's on their blog that aligns with their interests. And when they see a list that's made by many people, it automatically has more credibility and draws more people in. So the fact it's easy to embed a list um, and, and people can embed your lists across the blog, which will help your story spread, help more people discover you, more people get involved. And the fact that it's easy to share a list, as, as easy to share it is to embed, that's a really big part of Listly. Uh, the lists are alive, they keep changing, and you can really build a community on Listly and then bring that community back to help you to build more content. It's really an ongoing strategy that says publish once is really a dated mechanism and putting a listly inside a blog post keeps that post alive forever and lets people contribute and keep evolving your content, making it more valuable over time and not less.